Before we move on to the implementation and component explanation, let us understand what EOG is all about. EOG Electrooculogram is a measure of potential between the cornea and the retina of the eye called the corneal retinal potential. This potential is generated due to the hyperpolarization and depolarization of retinal cells. The strength of the EOG signal varies from 10 to 30 millivolts with frequencies in the range of DC 10 Hz. Our prototype basically involves the following modules. The battery module, integrated power supply management, signal acquisition and amplification circuit, the electrodes, wireless interface module and the robot in the place of wheelchair. The electrodes. Information about the changing position and the speed of the eye movement can be acquired by the placement of electrodes around the eyes. The electrodes used for acquiring EOG signals are AG-AGCL electrode which is placed at right canthus of right eye and left canthus of left eye. Battery Module In order to power up the entire circuit, we are using a 3.7V lithium-ion battery. It is the most easily found battery and hence the advantages it is easily available. The battery output basically goes to the power management circuitry which generates an output of plus or minus 3.3 volts. In order to provide supply for analog circuit, the MSP430 Texas Launchpad and Zigbee Transceiver Module. The other battery module showcased over here is the 9 volts rechargeable battery to drive the robot MSP430 and Zigbee transceiver module which is at the receiver side. Moving on to integrated power supply management, signal acquisition and amplification circuit. The battery output which ranges between 3.5 to 4.2 volts has been converted into 3.3 volts with a current rating of 200 milliamps using the Texas Instruments LP38690 low dropout voltage regulator. The IC LP38690 dissipates heat, hence we have developed our own heat sink as a part of protection circuit. This output is then later given to Texas Instruments TL7660 which is a switch capacitor negative voltage converter in order to obtain minus 3.3 volts with a current rating of 40 milliamps. Signal Acquisition Part and Amplification Since the signal obtained as a result of movement of eye is in the order of few millivolts, it has been given to an instrumentation amplifier which is INA128P in order to provide a sufficient amount of gain. The output will be near to 100 millivolts. This biomedical signal is dominant in the frequency range 0.5 to 4 hertz. Hence, we have come up with a bandpass filter circuit to allow frequencies in this range to pass through it. The filtered output is then given to Texas Instruments LM324IC, which is a single supply quad op amp wherein we are providing a variable and fixed gain of 10 to amplify the signal to a nominal voltage and using it as a 2.45 Hz active low pass filter followed by a DC shifter circuit in order to shift the signal by 1 volts. Finally, the output would be between 0 volts to 2.5 volts. The signal now obtained is an amplified and a DC shifted signal which is fed to the onboard ADC pin of Texas Instruments MSP430 launchpad. Software Implementation Appropriate signal processing algorithm have been implemented in MSP430. The program has been developed and dumped by means of Energia software and it is stored in the flash of microcontroller MSP430 G2553 IC. Wireless Interface and Robot The data has been wirelessly transmitted from MSP430 at TX side to the MSP430 at receiving side, which is a robot interface using CC2500 Transceiver Texas module. 
The robot is used in the place of wheelchair since it is expensive. This small robot platform will mimic the operations of a wheelchair. It is built using two DC motors which is controlled by an H-bridge current driver l 293 d Texas Instruments IC. The microcontroller MSP430 based upon the command received from the transmission part controls the direction of the motors and powers the motors to achieve left, right, forward and reverse movements.